afternoon uh, today I have this video for you guys uh, and it's gonna be the walk around and installation of the EF9 front glass for the front and passenger so this is the car I removed the gas cap because I need to paint the hatch I got the bronze glass also so I need to take it to get a color match but look at the paint such a beautiful color it came with, it came with the um, Evo Mega Master and this car is turbo which is why it took me so long to find one because I was looking for one that I liked already and then I had to do much to other than just little touch ups here and there which this car needs a lot of love unfortunately but nonetheless I got a lot of things going on I got the side skirt clips coming in already um, this one the side skirt clips over there on top of the car um, it came off so I got the they got the original clips order already and they're coming I have the bronze rear hatch here at the house already it arrived a while back so this is gonna be replaced I have the the Indiglo light coming in I have the power folding mirror coming in I have the glass front and driver's side passenger driver's side and passenger um, bronze glass that I will be installing today and then I have the fog lights that I'm gonna be installing also not today but some other day and then I got some new wheels for the car already and then uh, just a couple of heat, couple of things here and there the, this is the car guys I've been waiting for this car for a while ordered it uh, in April and I don't say anything because I don't like to you know uh, just post anything about my life that much and I just wanted to make sure that the car came in first before I posted anything and so here I am posting it today the car is just beautiful it's a custom pearl green pearl well, as you guys know, I have a thing for green. I love that color. So, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's install the passenger side first, and then we'll go to the driver side. So this is how the bronze glass came from Japan. I was able to find it over there. The packing was done right. I have not opened it yet, so I hope nothing is broken. Because if it is, then I'll be upset. But. Let's go ahead and unpack this wheel. So right off the bat, this thing was packed very, very good. No wonder they charge me so much for a special, a special box, a special boxing. It was a pain. It was pretty pricey to get this thing shipped. But I have no other choice. And I had to ship. Let me go ahead and turn this off and then let me unpack it real quick. It's taking too long. Two hours later. All right guys, so after all of this bubble wrap, which is super, really, really good. Uh, they did a really, really good job wrapping this. Here's the bronze glass. You can't see it, it's not much, but here it is. It's in good shape. For us, this is good condition for, for them in Japan. This is bad. So as long as they fit, I'll be happy. The clips are there, they're not broken. So I'm hoping that nothing is broken in the car itself. And I should be able to bolt it on. But unfortunately, I took off the wrong one. I gotta open the other box, because the other box is for the passenger side. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. One eternity later. All right, so here's the passenger side. And then there's the driver's side, and look at all the bubble wrap. If you guys want a bubble wrap for free, let me know. It's JDM bubble wrap. Just kidding. Anyways, let me go ahead and start working on the door over there and then uh, start mounting this on. That's my, my goal for today, just installing these two things. This is like 102 right now outside. It's too hot. All right, to take this one off, it's very easy. You take off the screws from here, not there, uh, here, and then just clips. And then you pull the door panel, take off this switch, unplug it, and then you're good to go. Alright, so just like I said, you take off the screws, you take off the switch, you take off the screw from that side, and then everything else should just start cleaning out. Just gotta be very careful because this car is old. So when you open it up on your car, make sure you do it carefully because you don't want to break anything. 
can use two hands so I don't break anything. Okay, so the door panel's off. It used to be white. So now we're gonna go ahead and lift the window and after we have access to actually there's one right here, have access to this one. And then I have to see if, see the other ones right here. So this one I'm gonna have to lift it higher and then the window will come right up. So let's do, go ahead and do that. So I need to plug in the switch to lift the window. Switch is plugged in. Okay, so that's not gonna give us access to it. It might have to be through this little hole. Let's see. Yep, that's it. So that's that one. And then right here, we do not see it. So I think it's gonna have to be two. So it's gonna be one. And then the other one right here. So this, I'm gonna have to use two hands because I don't want to drop and break it. All right, guys, and just like that, the glass is out. And this is a EF9 also, but it's just the, this is not the Grand Civic one. This is the bluish tint one, and I don't want that one. So that one might be for sale, I'm just gonna see if I'm not for sure yet. It doesn't matter, whoever wants it, let me know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. Hopefully everything fits properly, and we're good to go. All right guys, so here it is, it's already installed. And it's kinda hard to tell the difference, but you can see that it's like brownish and white. So this is the brass glass, this is already installed, so now I'm gonna put everything back together. And then we need new speakers. I didn't know they didn't have speakers. I do think that the wires are here. Uh, and apparently I already have power pulled in mirrors. So the ones that are coming in later today, not later today, they're later this month and they're gonna be up for sale. Because this one already has it, so I just got a wire here. I gotta figure out how come it's not working then. But let's continue, let's finish this up. Alright, everything's back on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the windows. Hopefully they're not like stained. And then it should be good to go and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the driver's side. You see how this one's look clear? This is what I like, the OEM bronze look. It's clean, it's getting hot. Alright, just give it a quick clean just with water and towel. And it looks to be like in decent shape. Doesn't look bad. I mean, it is an old, old glass, so it's pretty good, I will say. Everything's put together, missing a couple of things like this little clip. I gotta do junkier runs again. And this one makes it fun for me. This is what you know building a car should be, you know, it's like the treasure hunting. Nowadays unfortunately everything's like so expensive. But um, it's still it was thrilling and fun to just be looking for the parts. And you know, um, like I gotta look for this piece. I think I already know where to get it. Um, but yeah, this is fun. It brings me memories when I was building the Civic over there. And I didn't really do much to these two. Just a couple of pieces on the GSR and then this one that basically came complete so I don't have to do anything. But this is fun. Let's work on that side now and then let's move on. All right, so door panel is out of the driver's side and everything looks intact. Actually, door, this door looks a lot cleaner than the other one. All right, let's go ahead and take everything off and then uh, install the, the bronze glass. This one doesn't have a speaker either. So the good thing is that the speakers are not expensive, so I'm good. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys. So here is the finished product. I have the bronze passenger side window, bronze quarter panel, glass, and missing this one, but I have it inside already. And then I have the driver's side quarter panel bronze and then the, now the driver's side window bronze. And everything is running fine. This Friday I will take it to get a tune just because it came from a different country. So I want to make sure that the, that, the, um, that the air and everything is running properly in the car just because it's, you know, they're different air and temperature and stuff compared to New Zealand. So you can see that it's nice and green here. Mm 
Alright, so I will keep you guys posted as the new parts arrive and I will be posting different videos. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I will keep you guys updated with everything else that gets in for this car and then uh, I'll make sure you to keep you guys posted with everything else. Uh, next thing is the engine uh, getting a tune and then uh, so as, as we go by the days, uh, the more parts that come in, we will go ahead and put those on and I will be making a video of those. And then when the wheels are uh, ready with the wheels, I'll go ahead and put them on as well. So be, be good. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in. Be safe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.